Hey guys, on today's video I'm going to show you how to transfer information from one iPhone to another. So it can be your old iPhone and you want to transfer it to a new one, or from a newer one to another one, upgraded one. It doesn't really matter. So again, this process goes out with any iPhone. With all iPhones, it's the exact same process to do this. So for example, we're going to transfer information from this iPhone 8 onto this iPhone Pro Max. So again, we're transferring everything from here to here. Now something I forgot to mention is to take out the SIM card from your old phone. So at this time, you guys can turn off your old phone. It doesn't really matter. I always take out the SIM cards without turning them, turning off my phones, but you can if you want to, just for safety. And we're going to open this up. Now, take out the SIM card. That's the SIM card. And it should fit on your new phone. Unless your phone's really, really old, you will need another SIM card. Other than that, your nano SIM card should fit on your next one. By the way, this tool that I used to take out the SIM card came inside your box. So this is something that came inside your new box with your iPhone. If you don't have this, don't worry about it. You guys can use an earring and that will work just fine. So on a new phone, we're gonna see on the side, there's a SIM card tray that we can take out by just using this tool again. Just take out that tray and we can go ahead and place our SIM card right there and then just put it in our new phone. Here we go. The SIM card itself is just to make your phone work as a phone. There's no storage like an SD card on it. I shouldn't say there's no storage at all because it does have some storage to keep numbers in it. But other than that, no, it, there's no gigs in it. Anyways, on the side of your phone, you're just going to hold on and we're going to do the initial setup for this brand new phone. So we're gonna just hold it down until we see an Apple logo. And I've already done a setup video, so just in case if you guys watched my setup video from before, it's basically the exact same thing. Anyways, right now, let's just swipe up. Again, doesn't matter what iPhone you guys have, it's the exact same setup. So right now we're gonna choose our region. You guys can scroll down to find US if you're from the US or any other country. We're just gonna choose Canada for now. We can do a quick start. So with our phone, we're gonna actually do this quick start right now just to show you, but we can always skip it. But anyways, all you guys have to do is just put your phone beside the other one, just turn it on. Just make sure that it's unlocked and you're gonna get this pop-up. Because your old iPhone or even iPad, you guys can do this with an iPad, it's gonna recognize you're setting up a new phone. So we're gonna go ahead and select continue on. And then from here, we have to do exactly this. So, all we have to do is just scan it. So we're gonna place one phone on top of the other kind of and scan that pattern. Once we do that, it's just gonna finish up. So we can leave this phone on the side for now. We can place this one right here and then enter passcode. So obviously we have a passcode for our old phone. We're just gonna type that in. Once we do that, it's gonna set up the phone. Now on your old phone, you should see this screen on the other hand. It's gonna say finish on the new iPhone. So as long as you guys keep this kinda close to the other one, you should be okay. So we're gonna keep the other one close to this one. However, we still have to set up face ID and so on. So we're gonna go ahead and set that up. Right now, all we have to do is just press okay. And just setting up your face ID is just moving your face side to side and up and down, kind of how this shows you. So we're gonna press start, I'm gonna show you how that looks like. So right now I'm just gonna move my head up and down. You guys won't actually see this that well, but that's okay. Press continue on, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I will most likely rescan this again, <laughs> because for this setup video, uh, my camera's getting in the way and everything, so yeah. Anyways, let's press continue on. By the way, don't worry if it lags out a little bit, just wait for it, it's transferring stuff. Right now it's gonna ask me to transfer my data. So right now here, I can see transfer your data, transfer from iPhone, download from iCloud. So that's why I went over making the iCloud backup, which we should do anyways, even if we're transferring directly without using iCloud, it's good to have that backup. However, we have our iPhone right beside us, so might as well just do that because it's faster than using iCloud. So we're gonna go ahead and transfer it like this. By the way, if you choose iCloud, same process. So we're gonna go in agree. We're gonna hit agree again. And we should see this screen right now. 
down here below we can click on continue and again we can just click on continue on iMessage obviously improve Siri well I usually don't like to share my audio recordings but I will and here we go I'm gonna share this with Apple we don't have to same deal we don't have to share with developers but I suggest doing so and then one of the last steps that not all of you will see but some of you is this the update you will have to download and install again not everybody will see this so it's okay if you do not see the software update at this point in time so this will take some time it's not a humongous update now remember that this does takes some time because we are updating the phone it's gonna restart just let it be and wait up for it the other message that you might see on your older phone is this waiting for software update on this one before the Apple logo you could have said verifying update which is normal that's just the way it has to be after about 10 15 minutes really depends information and everything and the update you guys will see this pairing to transfer and finish on new iPhone so just wait up for it just let it do its thing you guys can keep this going sure touch the screen but you don't have to just let it lock by itself and it's gonna keep going and doing the transfer by itself again this is another screen that we're gonna see so this is all normal we should be able to see this screen on our old and new iPhone and right now it's actually transferring everything it shouldn't be that much because it's not that many gigs from one to another and make sure that you guys have enough space on your new phone so I would never suggest to have less space on your new phone than your old one you should have at least more or about the same at this point in time all we have to do is just wait for this one to transfer to the other one and that's all it's just a waiting game now there are some messages that you might get some of you others won't so don't worry about if you don't get this enabled soon it's no big deal let me just turn on the phone again so right now it is telling me that it's transferred complete we're gonna see an apple logo loading bar on our old phone we can just tap on continue and there we go so nothing has deleted off my old phone again everything's still there we're good we can just go ahead and delete everything if we want to do that for a full video on that I do have a separate video but right now we're just gonna leave our old phone on the side and our new phone is just gonna finish up setting up if you leave your iPhone just on the table it's gonna go back screen if you pick it up you should say this let's just do that and right now restore complete apps and there continue downloading in the background continue on and welcome to iPhone swipe and we're done so at this point I should get a bunch of messages and all my apps will start downloading slowly one by one I'm just gonna go ahead and use and something you might get is to verify your Apple ID so make sure to do that and if you have two factor it's gonna send that code to your other device which would be your other phone so in this case this is the verification code that I have to put on the other one so I'm just gonna copy that over and once I do that that's it I'm just gonna see my iCloud stuff here I can just get out and at this point in time everything has been transferred over it's just downloading apps and doing all that stuff so we can scroll through and see if all our apps are here they are in fact all here so I'm good I'm just gonna let it do its thing download the downloading time for each app well it depends how big each app is but you can just leave your phone be at this time and you're all done transferring all your information congrats guys that's it for this video if you guys have any questions comments you guys can write down here in the comments area and don't forget to subscribe and rate thank you